Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Jose and I just got back from vacation yesterday. We had the most amazing time. Literally, I just feel like time was just flying by. And I was like, slow down, we're enjoying this way too much. But we're home now and I just finished unpacking. I have to put my luggage away and then Jose is unpacking his luggage. I figured I'll show you guys all the makeup that I bring with me on vacation. A lot of you guys have been asking about it and before I put everything away, I figured I'll show you what I brought, what I used, what I didn't use, what was helpful, and what I won't be bringing with me on our next trip. So, I have all of my little compartments here, all of my bags, so everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. Let me just grab my water and some sweets so I can sit down and talk to you guys. I was trying on some maternity clothes and they turned out so good. So if you guys wanna see that, it's also linked in a new vlog. So all you have to do is go to the vlog channel. Okay, let me put this down. This video is gonna be like more casual rather than like my sit down, edit it videos on my main channel. Before we get into the makeup, I wanna show you guys the bags that I like to use because they're nice and sturdy. I've been using them for a long time and I've never had any of my makeup break before and it just keeps everything really organized. So this is the first vanity bag right here. I got this at Sephora. I believe they still have it in like different colors and different designs. So I'll link it in the description box below, but I love it so much. Not only because it's super sturdy, but because it's really organized inside as well. And then I also have this bag right here, which fits so much inside. Like you won't believe the amount of stuff that I can put in here. It's really sturdy. It has the same print. I really love this. Like I said, this is part of the Sephora collection. So if you don't see this exact same color, they definitely have it in different designs on their website. And then for like my small makeup, I like bringing stuff like this just because it separates like my lip products, my eye products, my eyebrows, like all that good stuff. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I wanna start off with this bag right here, which is the biggest one. This is where I put all of my foundations, my concealers, my powders, my palettes, all the big products go in here. And I like it because it keeps it nice and sturdy and it doesn't move around, so nothing breaks. So I'm gonna open it to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Ooh. So as you can tell, one side I have the palettes, and then the other side, I have all of my powders lined up. The first product is my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. I love to bring this with me everywhere I go, whether I'm going somewhere it's cold or it's hot, especially if it's hot. This is going to make my makeup stay on for the entire day. When I go on vacation, I usually don't wear a lot of makeup, but if we're going out for dinner or we have some activity planned out, I do like to have my makeup you know, fresh and I do want it to last this is a must-have so i'm so happy that i brought that i also brought my tarte shade tape concealer i brought the lighter one for highlighting and then a darker one for contouring the lighter one is in light medium and the dark one is in deep i love bringing the darker one especially because it just helps blend my face a lot better with my body especially when i go on vacation and i tan i feel like i tan really easily and i just get red and like bronzy right away so something like that helps blend my foundation a lot better I also brought my e.l.f. 16 hour concealer just because I wanted to test it out in a very hot temperature and see how it works because I have been testing it out for a while and I really love it. I did try it and it worked out. So another great concealer. What else do we have in here? Okay, foundation. <laughs> when it comes to foundation, I am that person, you guys. I like to have options. So I brought four different ones with me, but I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I ended up using and the ones that I didn't use. The first one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream. I wore this almost every single day and I loved it so much. Not only does it have SPF, but it also feels really light on the skin. I also brought my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I brought it in a darker shade because I knew I was going to tan, so my skin was going to get darker, but I ended up not using it at all. Still love this foundation, just didn't use it at all on vacation. I also brought my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation in 4 and 1. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I use 2 and 1. And yes, I did end up using this one one time for dinner. 
I loved it. It looks so beautiful, especially when we went out for dinner. We were taking pictures. It was just a really nice foundation to wear overall, and it did amazing in that hot temperature. I also brought the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Foundation in medium golden, but didn't end up using it at all, but I still really love that foundation. So yeah, next time I would just probably bring this full coverage and this for light coverage, and um, both of them are really great. For primer, I only brought one, and this is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer Plus Acne Treatment. I used this with everything that I used on my face, and I left it. It just kept my makeup in place, and it feels really light, so you can use this with the CC cream or with the foundation. They both worked great. I also brought this NARS Super Radiant Booster, so I like to mix this in with my foundation or the CC cream just for a really nice glow, just because my body is glowing, but my face is not because I never tan my face. So this was another product that I'm so happy that I brought along with me. Or you can even use it as a highlighter by itself, like on the highest points of your face. I also brought my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium. Love this on a day where I'm not wearing any makeup at all, but I still want to cover up a little acne spot. This is a must-have product, and I did end up using it. I also brought my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Dark Deepest. Love this bronzer all year round, but when I go on vacation and I put this on with a tan, like, ugh. It just looks incredible. I have been raving about these Kylie powders and I had to bring them with me just because they're kind of like my go-to products and I really love the formula and how well it just sits on my skin. So I ended up bringing the Kylie blush in Kitten Baby. A really pretty light peachy blush. It looks beautiful with a tan or for medium skin tones. And then I also brought this bronzing powder in Almond love 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 this as you can tell i've been using it up like crazy but it just looks really nice on the skin another blush by kylie cosmetics is close to perfect and this is more of like a muted peachy blush so gorgeous for the daytime love this i'm so glad that i did end up bringing up those blushes because i do like to mix them for a really nice color on my cheeks for highlighters i brought three different ones Actually, I'm lying. I brought four different ones. This is the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. Oh my God, if you do not have this in your collection, you need to go grab it like yesterday. It's such a good palette. I also brought my Artist Couture Highlighter. This is in the shade Hot Damn. Really pretty and so glittery. Perfect for the nighttime, especially if you're taking photos and you want your highlighter to be like, beam. That is a perfect highlighter, of course. My Ambreezy highlighter. This is like my holy grail. Never leave it behind because this is like, this is bay right here. Amazing highlighter. And then I also brought Citrin by Jouer Cosmetics. Love this one so much too. This formula is so creamy and just looks so gorgeous on the skin. And by the way, I did end up using all those highlighters. So I'm so happy that I brought all of them. For setting powders, I brought my Laura Mercier translucent powder never fails never ever ever fails such a holy grail product and then for something a little bit lighter i brought my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade number two this is a really nice powder to set your face or set your under eye it feels really lightweight and it doesn't change your foundation or what you already have on your skin and then for eyeshadow palette I brought my Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I love this so much, but I didn't use it at all, to be honest with you guys. It was just in my makeup bag the entire time. And then that's everything that I brought in that bag. And then this is from a different vanity case that I had bought. But since this vanity case fits more stuff, I just took it out that bag and brought it here. But this mirror comes in super handy because it's huge and you can like put it down on your vanity or wherever you're doing your makeup or even if you wanted to like hold it up it's just so big so it's perfect for you to do your makeup this morning i was like i need to do my makeup so i just sat down here on the dining table and started doing my makeup it was a different scenery i usually do my makeup in my beauty room but honestly like my beauty room is such a mess and i can't seem to figure out why i can organize it why can i get it together and it's just like 
all over the place and it's been like that since my last apartment i just don't know what to do with that room i keep like fixing it and organizing it and then i have to film so everything goes back to being messy so um it's just like a little cycle that i have in that room mm. i need jose to help me unzip this jumpsuit because i can't do it myself and nobody's home so <laughs> if I need to go to the bathroom, I'm gonna have to wait. So let me show you guys what I brought in this bag right here. This is my second bag from Sephora. If you're somebody who doesn't like to carry a lot of makeup, you have like your, you know, your staple products that you bring with you and your five brushes that you just use for your face, this is a perfect bag for you. So it has different compartments. It has this side right here with Make sure that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It also has this little bag in the middle with a zipper and then the opposite side you can put your brushes. And then you also have another side right here with the zipper which fits so much stuff. So let me show you guys on this side. I just brought all the brushes that I like to use for my eyes and my face. When I'm traveling, I like to bring my go-to brushes. So these are the brushes that I just cannot live without. Like my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, amazing for foundation. This one by Morphe, this is the R14 brush. Literally contours your face so beautiful. You need it in your collection. And then this highlighter brush. Oh my god, I literally went to the Morphe store to pick it up. I needed a new one. This is the Morphe M510 brush. This applies your highlighter so beautiful. Oh my god, like if you haven't tried it, highly, highly, highly recommend it. I do have a coupon code for Morphe. It's just Diana. I have my blush brush by Sigma. I have this powder brush by Morphe. And then on this side, I just have like my mini size skincare products. I have, ooh, let me just open it so I can show you guys. I have my eye cream, my vitamin C for my skin, my night serum, favorite. I use this for my lashes because I do have eyelash extensions. So a lot of you guys always ask me, what do you like to use to like clean your lashes, but not to make them fall off because girl, they are expensive. So I only use this on my eyes and it helps just get everything off and it's very gentle on them so it doesn't ruin them. I also brought my cocoa butter, my mini Miss Dior perfume. Oh, smells divine. My beauty blender, I actually brought three, but two of them are dirty, so I put them in the bathroom. And then my Tatcha water cream, which I just cannot live without. So the rest of my skincare products are like larger, so I put them with like my body care stuff, which I'm not gonna show you guys today. It's in another bag in the bathroom. Oh wait, this is the palette that fell out the bag. I like to keep this in here because it's nice and flat, so it's not going to move around. I love this palette so much. This is the MAC Studio Fix sculpt and shape contour palette and this is in light medium i feel like this video is going to be super long so if you're still watching let me know in the comments below so this is the bag right here that i like to use for all of my eye products this was actually a gift from Too faced so it has like my name engraved but i really like it because it fits like woo, all of my smaller products i didn't even show you guys my eye brushes too many of them but these are all of my eye brushes right here i'm not gonna go into details because it is way too many but if you guys want to know uh let me know in the comments below and that could be like a whole separate video the first product i have in this bag is my jet lag mask by summer fridays i always like to bring a mask with me when i'm traveling just because it's really nice to do especially after a long flight because my skin breaks out like crazy when i fly so a mask is a must-have. I really like this one just because it hydrates my skin. For mascara, I brought my Roller Lash by Benefit, one of my favorites. I also brought the Roller Liner Eyeliner, literally like the best. If you haven't seen my favorites, I was raving about this and it is so good. For eyebrow products, I only brought two. I brought my Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in number five and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. I also brought my eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay. Didn't really use this just because I went like all glam one night and I just ended up using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a primer. Works even better, girl. <sighs> These are my Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. 
I brought Shimmering Sunset and Drop Top. These look so beautiful with a tan. It's like a rose gold bronzy metallic shadow. And then it comes with like the matte one on the opposite side. I brought my NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. Love this, especially to like open up your eyes and use in the morning to look more awake. I use this on my waterline like almost every single day. I also brought a brown eyeliner. This one's by Marc Jacobs. My clear brow gel by Sigma, another favorite. And my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in black. And then I have some bobby pins. And then I also like to bring a spoolie just because I do have lash extensions. So you have to like brush them out daily. And then the last bag is my lip bag. One of my favorites. I brought my Fenty Gloss. This is so stinking cute. It's the mini size. Did use the camera just stopped because I was talking nonstop. But this is one of my go-to glosses. Love it so much. Did end up using it. I also brought the new Huda Beauty lipsticks and they are so pretty. I just didn't end up wearing them on vacation. So expect a tutorial featuring them really soon. I brought more nude lipsticks. This one is by Becca and Chrissy. One of my go-tos, a really nice, pretty rosy color. Um, of course, of course I brought my YSL lipsticks. These are just my go-tos. I brought a deep red and my go-to brown burgundy color. Just two must-haves in my collection. And then I also brought some lip liners. A few of my favorites are MAC and KKW Beauty. I brought my Fenty Uncensored Stun Lip Paint, the best red ever in the world. Like if you're looking for a long lasting, gorgeous, universal red, try this out if you haven't already. And then this is also one of my newer favorite lip glosses. It's like a lip plumper, but it feels so nice on the lips. This is a lip maximizer lip plumper by Dior. The packaging is just luxurious as you would expect, but really pretty and a perfect gloss for like an everyday. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put it on right now because it just is such a gorgeous gloss that you just want to wear it all day and it just feels so light. MAC Honey Love. This is like an OG go-to favorite. Literally, I have one in every single purse because it's just like one of my go-to shades. I feel like everybody has their MAC go-to shades and that one is it for me. The last thing that I wanted to show you guys is the 35G Bronze Goals Morphe Palette. I brought it with me on vacation and I loved it so much. I used it for a really light look. I used it for a glam look. It is just the perfect bronze palette. I feel like they really nailed it with this one because it has all of your go-to shades. And you will think that you can only do like specific looks with this, but girl, trust me, you can definitely play around and create some fun looks. I've been talking for way too long. I feel like my voice is like slowly going away. Like I'm gonna include a picture here that I posted on Instagram from vacation. And I got a lot of people asking about it. Whoa, my throat. Um, but yeah, I love it. If you want to use my coupon code, like I said, it's Diana. You'll get a discount of the palette or whatever else you want to get of the Morphe site. So that is everything that I brought with me on vacation. I know it seems a lot. I know it seems excessive. But you like what you like. And I love all these products. I use most of them. I show you guys the stuff that I didn't use. The stuff that I would bring along with me for my next travel destination. And... Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what video you guys want to see next. Um, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. <laughs> Actually, let me drink some water. Let me know what video you guys want to see next. I have my 10-minute everyday routine going up, I think, after this. So be up like on Tuesday, um, but I definitely want to film some different videos for my main channel. I haven't done like a routine video, so I want to do maybe like my pregnant morning routine. Some just like fun different videos that I haven't done in a while here on my channel. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next one very soon. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I feel like this is pregnant problems. You're like constantly burping. TMI, but that's the real deal. <laughs>